Bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody give God a praise. Man. Hallelujah. Let me greet the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I want to greet our presiding bishop, Bishop N. Fagan and his wife, Apostle Fagan. Hallelujah. Somebody praise his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to greet all the mighty leaders in the house. Bishop Boniface and his family all the way from East Africa, Tanzania. Give him a mighty hand. Somebody praise his name. Oh, hallelujah. I want to greet all the mighty apostles. Hallelujah. Glory to God and servants of God, reverends, pastors, leaders, the delegates from Jamaica. Give them a mighty hand. Come on. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to greet our brethren from Fort Lauderdale. Come on. You got it. Come and say, can you say something? Come and say something. Yes. Yes. Our sister right here. Yes. From Fort Lauderdale. Come on. Harvest Army Vision Church. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, everyone. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, we bring you greetings from your brethren from Fort Lauderdale. To God be the glory. This morning, I just want to encourage you that you are the fruit of the Spirit. You are truly, truly the fruit of the Spirit is exemplified in your praise. Let's continue to praise God. Let's continue to give Him all the glory because He's worthy, He's worthy, He's worthy to be praised. Because of His goodness and His mercies, we are here this morning to give Him praise. Let's continue to give Him praise because He's worthy. Brethren, continue. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's turn and greet somebody. You're looking really awesome. Hallelujah. In the audience. Somebody bless the Lord. We greet all our online viewers. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Somebody praise his name. Hallelujah. Gathering in the promised land. Come on. Gathering in the promised land. Stand and clap your hands. It is God's mighty plan.
Somebody bless the Lord. The devil can't handle the gathering. But turn to your neighbor and say, gather. Somebody say, gather. Come on, somebody say, gather. He said, gather unto the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Because when we are together, we are better. Oh my God Almighty. You're not saying to come on. Somebody bless the Lord. I said, when we are together, somebody bless the Lord. We are better. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Because one, oh my God, greetings to a general apostle, will chase a thousand. You're not talking to me. Somebody praise God. But two, somebody bless the Lord, would put 10,000 to flight. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody say, gather. When we gather, we are better. The Bible says, he said, if two of you, my God Almighty, somebody link up, link up with somebody. He said, if two of you shall agree upon the earth, somebody praise God. He said, whatsoever you ask, it shall be done. Come on, somebody. When we gather, you're not talking to me. It is better. He said, wow, unto him that is alone when he falleth and there is none to help him. You don't hear me, somebody. When you gather, it is better because the one will help the other. You're not talking. Somebody said, when, when you gather, somebody said, when you gather, it is better. Stand up. Somebody said it is better. Somebody says it's better. If the enemy come in that way, I can't get him. Then I, oh, come on, stand up, somebody. Somebody said it is better. Somebody said it is better. And if it's coming that way, somebody bless the Lord. You're not talking to me. You need somebody to watch your back. Oh my God Almighty. Somebody keep God a praise. I said when you give it is better. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. So the devil can't handle when the church is gathering. Somebody praise God. Don't stop the gathering. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody give God a mighty praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. My God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. Get ready. Hallelujah for the mighty anniversary banquet. Somebody praise his name. Everybody got to be there. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. It's the one here of the acquisition of the city when God said no man the boulevard somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody praise his name hallelujah get ready come on somebody somebody bless the Lord somebody bless the Lord there, there are people already booked their ticket to come somebody praise his name somebody praise his name hallelujah somebody say gather for it is better my God of mine somebody praise his name hallelujah just turn your Bibles quickly. And you don't want to miss tonight. World Revival Live. A lot of things going to be happening. Including, hallelujah, glory to God, the Citizens Awards. You don't want to miss it. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 5. Hallelujah. We're going to read and just preach quickly. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 5. And it reads, he said, they came over. On the other side of the sea into the country of the gatherings and when he was come out of the ship immediately there met him a man out of the tombs a man they immediately met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit 
who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him no not with chains because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains and the chains had, had been plucked asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces neither could any man tame him my lord and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones somebody praise his name somebody praise his name hallelujah verse 6 but when he saw Jesus afar off he ran and worshipped him can somebody worship Jesus somebody worship Jesus and cried with a loud voice and said what have I to do with thee Jesus thou son of the most high God I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not for he had said unto him come out of the man thou unclean spirit somebody praise his name and he asked him what is thy name and he answered saying my name is legion for we are many somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody praise his name verse 13 i'm gonna jump a little and for wit jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine and the earth ran violently down the steep place into the sea and there are about two thousand and were choked in the sea somebody praise his name somebody praise his name verse 14 and they that fed the swine told it in the city and in the country and they went out to see it what it was and what was done verse 15 and they come to jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the lesion sitting and clothed in his right mind and they were afraid and they they that saw it told them how it befell him that was possessed with the devil and also concerning the swine and they began to pray him to depart out of their coast and when he was coming to the ship and being the, he, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him how be jesus suffered him not but said to him go home to thy friends tell them how great things the lord have done for thee and have great compassion on thee somebody bless the lord somebody bless the lord somebody give god a praise somebody give god a praise hallelujah god don't put things in the bible just for read just for reading sake lord he put it in the bible somebody praise god hallelujah glory to god that we can have hope somebody praise his name that we can hallelujah glory to god exercise our faith no matter what the situation is somebody praise his name somebody praise his name and in this passage we saw a man somebody praise his name hallelujah glory to god that had a certain condition and the bible said that when jesus went to this country immediately somebody praise his name come on they met him a man out of the tombs with, with, with an unclean spirit somebody praise his name hallelujah this man's condition was so bad the bible said he dwell among the tombs he, he dwell in the cemetery come on somebody he dwell among the dead somebody praise his name somebody praise his name hallelujah uh, uh, glory to god uh, and and he was led by an unclean spirit somebody praise his name 
Hallelujah. An unclean spirit. A demon. He said because of his condition. He said no man could bind him. No, not with chains. He said often he was bound with fetters and chains. Somebody praise God. But he was so strong. He would pluck the chains asunder. Anybody know chain? Yes, chain. Chain, hard chain. They, 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 they put on him. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. If he was in this time, he, they, they will call him the strongest man. <laughs> they have the world's strongest man. Somebody bless the Lord. But this man could, could break chains. He could break fetters. You're not talking to me somebody here. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. But there was something in his life. Come on. No, you're not talking to me now. That he could not break. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. He was so strong, yet so weak. Oh my God Almighty. Somebody praise God. He was so awful. Somebody praise God, yet so feeble. Somebody give God a praise. Because the Bible said he had an unclean spirit. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. He had unclean spirit in his life. Somebody praise God. And the unclean spirit made him wild. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. The Bible said because of it no man could tame him. Somebody praise his name. Listen to this. Night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs somebody praise God crying cutting himself with stones somebody bless the Lord glory to God crying for deliverance somebody praise God I, I can't finish it today somebody praise God but I want to tell somebody color to God here and across the world somebody say unshackle you your tabernacle somebody give God a praise somebody say unshackle somebody give God a praise your tabernacle somebody praise God we are living in a time where man is shackled somebody praise God glory to God they have everything glory to God that the world can offer somebody praise God glory to God they have uh, glory to God what they think uh, they need to have uh, but what they need uh, what they really need uh, they don't have uh, somebody give God a praise uh, and man uh, is shackled uh, you know they are shackled uh, somebody praise God uh, when you see uh, and hear uh, somebody praise God uh, somebody praise God right here in the US uh, glory to God they pass laws for men and men. They're pushing transgender. You're not talking to me. They're pushing abortion. Somebody praise God. They're pushing computer chip. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I said man is shackled. They're pushing perversion. Come on. Somebody said man is shackled. But somebody said unshackle your tabernacle. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Galatians 5 verse 1. He says, stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ have made us free. He said, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Somebody praise God. Somebody give God a praise. That's a word to the church. God said, listen. He said, Christ have made us free he said be not entangled again someone bless the lord galatians 5 13 he said for brethren 
he have been called unto liberty somebody praise God somebody praise God we heard this word some time ago but God was dealing with the preacher but I, I, I didn't have the strength so when I heard her preaching I said I got it I was supposed to preach it you're not talking to me come on somebody praise God he said brethren you have been called to liberty you have been called oh my God to freedom somebody praise his name somebody praise his name he said only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody say unshaka your tabernacle if you use occasion to the flesh you're putting shackles on your life you're not talking to me somebody somebody give god a praise if you walk in the flesh come on somebody praise god hallelujah somebody praise god oh you know you know believers can put shackles on their lives somebody praise god somebody give god a praise hallelujah it's just a simple word to you today don't put shackles on your life somebody praise god glory to god that's what the churches are doing now they are putting on shackles you're not talking to me somebody they are, they are, come on you know there are shackles on their feet somebody praise god shackles on their hand shackles on their heart shackles in their mind shackles in their conscience they are putting on shackles because of what they are being entangled with church of god god says oh my god almighty on your tabernacle somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody praise his name the worst shackle to come upon man is sin somebody says sin somebody says sin come on somebody says sin I don't care how great or how rich or how poor sin is a shackle oh my god praise God somebody praise God I said sin thank you is a shackle somebody praise God that only Jesus can remove somebody says sin oh don't play with sin somebody praise his name somebody praise his name don't play with secret sin don't play with presumptuous sin don't play with any sin of commission or omission don't mess with sin sin is a shackle somebody bless the lord i said sin is a shackle church sin is a shackle the, the man was strong but he could not lose himself he was tormented i said sin is a shackle somebody praise god somebody praise god Romans 3 23 he said all of sin and come short of the glory of God John 8 34 listen to this Jesus answered them he said verily I say unto you whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin he said whosoever committed sin is a slave of sin somebody praise God Isaiah 5 18 just listen to this it's a war unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as it were a cart rope somebody praise god somebody praise god listen to this i said sin is a shackle romans 7 verse 19 to 20. he said for the good that i would i do not somebody praise his name did you get that for the good that i would I do not but the evil which I would not that I do now if I do that I would not it is no more I that do it but sin come on somebody somebody give God a praise sin dwell it in me somebody say unshaka your tabernacle oh my god hallelujah 
man is shackled by sin time is gone two man is shackled by a strong man somebody say a strong man somebody say a strong man a strong man hallelujah is 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 same as a satan or the beast or a demon or a spirit somebody praise god somebody praise his name the man that we were just reading about hallelujah he had a legion hallelujah is two thousand swines run into the into the water so if, if it's one demon per swine then it's at least two thousand demons somebody praise his name somebody praise his name listen me listen to me church somebody bless the lord don't, don't have hallelujah this is another word but don't open doors to demons in your life there, there are folks opening doors to the devil let, let me tell you something if you do things in secret that you're not supposed to do it's not only you there you're not talking to me demons are there they, they, come, you're not talking to me hallelujah jo the, the devil was able to tell god what job was doing somebody praise god oh come on somebody if, if you if you mess with things that you're not supposed to mess with somebody bless the lord you're opening doors to the devil somebody praise god uh, the bible said uh, when the unclean spirit uh, is gone out of a man he said the demon come back somebody bless the lord somebody praise god uh, he come back and he said when he come back uh, he found the house that he came out of uh, empty uh, somebody praise god uh, you can't afford to be empty right now uh, glory to god if you're empty uh, you're opening your door to be shackled uh, somebody give god a praise uh, he found him empty uh, swept uh, well garnished in sin uh, and he said oh yeah he went for seven more uh, spirits uh, demons uh, devils somebody praise God and just enter when you mess with sin when you mess with the wrong thing you have no authority to stop the devil you're not talking to me somebody somebody praise God when you live a double life a double standard somebody give God a praise there's no authority to resist the devil somebody praise God he went for seven more worse the bible said the last state of that man is worse than the first somebody praise god but somebody said unshackle we can't go through it all but somebody said bind the strong man unshackle from stronghold unshackle from sensuality unshackle from social media the internet somebody said unshackle there's a lot of demons releasing on the internet church come on somebody praise god somebody praise god yes come on lot of demons somebody bless the lord somebody say unshackle from the social media from internet you're not talking to me somebody praise god from instagram help me with some of them from tiktok help me come on because i don't know them wait where's the young people all of a sudden you don't know them today <laughs> all right and <laughs> someone said unshackle from all i don't still, you know he's not only young people i don't see any too you, know, you think you can't hide you can't fool me somebody bless the lord somebody said unshackle from the internet unshackle from spells generational curse unshackle from sickness somebody says sickness sickness is a shackle somebody praise god there was, there was a woman had the the spirit of infirmity for 18 years come on that was uh, that was a demon of sickness somebody said unshaka oh my god somebody praise his name somebody said unshaka your tabernacle ow ow quickly number one hallelujah 53 seconds number one and this is the only number one you need for today so, somebody praise his name number one somebody bless the lord hallelujah matthew 11 28 to 29 glory to god no matter who you are hallelujah whether you are saved or unsaved if you get shackled somebody praise god you glory to god number one will fix you somebody praise his name hallelujah glory to god matthew 11 28 to 29 he said come unto me somebody said come to jesus somebody said come to jesus hallelujah the man in the story glory to god even though 
glory to God it was the demons glory to God when the mistake the demons made was to run to Jesus somebody give God a praise somebody said come to Jesus he said come unto me he said all ye that are labored and are heavy laden he said I will give you rest somebody give God a praise Jesus said he said the spirit stand on your feet of the Lord is upon me he said the Lord have anointed me to set at liberty them that are bruised to open the prison doors somebody give God a praise the Bible said if the son have made you free you are free indeed somebody give God a praise Jesus came to break off every shackle of your life the Bible said God have made him sin for us who knew no sin that we might become the righteousness of God you can unshackle your tabernacle by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody praise his name glory to God no if you know this all the solution that men had for that man could not tame him could not solve the problem but when Jesus came on the scene somebody praise God he was unshackled of over 2,000 demons he was placed in his right mind glory to God he was clothed And the people had a problem that the man was delivered that the man was unshackled somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody say unshackle your tabernacle you have to come to Jesus you have to come to the Savior somebody praise his name somebody praise his name no matter what your, your shackle is hallelujah Jesus said I want to break it off your life I want to break off every shackle it may be sickness it may be infirmity like the woman in Luke 13 11 to 13 and all over the Bible somebody bless the Lord Jesus went and set at liberty them that are bruised and he said be unshackled today you can be unshackled by the scripture somebody said by the scripture somebody said by the scripture he said you're gonna know the truth and the truth shall make you free somebody say unshackle your tabernacle somebody bless the Lord too many today are getting shackled and getting shackled by worldliness yes Christian they, can't, they just can't leave out worldliness preaching up a storm and shackled shackled somebody praise his name any any connection with the spirit of the world is going to shackle you somebody praise god it's going to shackle your preaching shackle your living shackle your spiritual walk somebody praise god to be unshackled you got to walk in the spirit somebody praise god he said walk in the spirit somebody bless the lord and you will not fulfill the loss of the flesh somebody praise god somebody say unshackled somebody praise god there's got to be some sacrifice at the altar he said this kind going not out but by prayer and fasting church let me tell you something. Somebody praise God. Sometimes we preach and we think we're preaching to, we have to first preach to our own family. You know what the Bible said? Yeah, we like to, you know, this is a church of preachers. He said, I kept other people's vineyard, but my own I didn't keep. Be careful. Don't, don't dare preaching to everybody. I ain't preaching at home. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. The devil is right there. You got to deal with that devil. You got to deal with that devil. 
Somebody bless the Lord. Church, don't let him in your house. Don't let the tether. Come on, somebody. Bring any shackle in your home. It's time to take authority. Somebody bless the Lord. Take authority. And we are in it together. Come on. The mistake you make. Don't criticize your brother. Come on. Or your sister. Or the, the, is, your, is your child too. Get to work. Get to work. Get to work. Get to prayer. Get to fasting. You're not talking to me. Get to work. Somebody praise God. Somebody say get to work. Chain on one is chain on all. Get to work. Oh, come on somebody. Somebody praise God. I break every shaka. Somebody praise his name. We finish it another time. Is there one here today that is not yet safe? God wants to unshackle your life. He wants to set you free from all sin. Time is gone. If there is one, you can come if you're watching. It's not hard to be unshackled. God made it easy. He just wants you to acknowledge the truth. He just wants you to confess the truth. I was telling somebody, you know, that, that's, God just want man to confess the truth. Say, Lord, I am a sinner. I have sinned against you and against you only. God, you can't get saved without truth. Come on, don't play the game. Don't play the hide and seek game. Come out of hiding. Somebody bless the Lord. Come on, somebody praise God. He said the truth will make you free. Somebody praise his name. Are you watching? God want to make you free right now. Free from sin. And all you got to do is to be honest. And say, God, I sin against you. I sin, God. I sin. Forgive me. And when you receive forgiveness, forsake it. And follow Jesus. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Just repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus. I thank you for your love and your mercy towards me. Jesus, I've sinned against you and against you only. Today, Lord, forgive me, cleanse me, wash me, and make me your own. I thank you, Lord, for hearing my cry and for forgiving me of all my sins. I thank you, Lord, for saving me. You just pray, you believe. The Bible says, he that believe it and is baptized shall be saved, shall be unshackled. Come and get water baptized. He said, here is water. What doth hinder me from being baptized? Come to 1045 East Norman the Boulevard. Hallelujah. Or your nearest harvest army. Get water baptized. Or your nearest non hallelujah, non-compromising Bible-believing church. Get water baptized. Someone say unshackle. Someone say unshackle. You may not be shackled. But you want to take preemptive measures. You can draw to this altar. And let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray against every shackle. Every shackle the devil want to bring. Every shackle we break it. Some of the praise God. Some of the praise God. Some of it we couldn't touch. Some of the praise God. Every shackle of malice. Every shackle of hate. Every shackle of unforgiveness. Every, come on. Somebody bless the Lord. Can we just draw to this altar? Even for, for 30 seconds. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Everything that want to bring hindrance to your spiritual walk. Hallelujah. We break it today. We break every shackle, every torment, every, every lingering spirit. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise God. Every doors to uncleanness. We close. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Let me tell you something. Demons is attracted to nakedness. In, in the public, demons. And inter, you, come, you, come on, be careful. Be, you, you must check yourself. Am I doing anything to be a magnet for demons? And let me tell you how you become, you, 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 you're going to become a magnet for demons when you, when you live contrary to this. Demons just draw to you. Come on, somebody. And when they come to you, they're going to make you sick. They're going to make you mad. And we kill you. Somebody pray right now. Pray right now. Pray, 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 pray right now. Pray. Break up every shackles in Jesus' name. Somebody praise God. Take some preemptive acts. 
Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Pray for the church. The church got shackled. The church got shackled. 2021. Shackled by the beast. Come on, somebody. Come on, church. Come on, church. Take, take authority right now. Come on, come on, come on. Throw off every devil. Throw it. Come on, come on. Throw it off. Throw it off. Oh, ah, somebody bless the Lord. You can unshackle from sin. We said it con con by confession. Somebody praise God. You can unshackle by consecration. Somebody praise God. Consecration. Oh, Baba Kasata. Come on, somebody talk to the Lord right now. In the name of Jesus, I break up every shackles. I, I break up every shackle. Oh, my God, from our tabernacle. I break up every shackle. Oh, my God. Hey, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I cast it off and I cast it away. In the name of Jesus, I break every shackle in the name of Jesus. And I decree liberty. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. If the Son make you free, you are free indeed. I decree liberty in God's people. For it is written, God have not given us the spirit of bondage again to fear. But the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba Father. I release it upon God's people right now. In Jesus name. Amen. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name.